Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Lads, it has begun. The Team of the Season leaks have started, and we already know some of the names of players and the official stats of cards that we're going to see this Friday in FIBA 22 as a part of the first release, the Team of the Season Community Cards, and also a surprise secondary league from EA Sports leaked yesterday. I want to take you guys through all the leaked cards that we have, how some of the stats look good, but how some of them also were a bit underwhelming and how that makes me feel about the market and how it could react to the TOTS cards that we see this weekend. I do expect more leaks to come out today, so we'll talk about that. And we're still awaiting some info about Team of the Season. Team of the Season rewards, right? I know we have a rewards reset tomorrow on Thursday. Um, so we'll talk about that a little bit. Is there going to be a token system? I believe that was teased. I guess I'm going to go over some of my outstanding questions still that I have about team of the season and talk about Wednesday content and the market in general on this game. So if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, as always, hit a thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's dive in and look at these leaks from the top, let's take a look. Number one, we have probably the headliner of Team of the Season community right here leaked just a couple hours ago right in front of us, and that is Luis Suarez. Now, this card looks good. 96 rated Suarez. That is a plus three over his foot birthday version, which was only released about like a month, a month and a half ago during foot birthday, right? So 96 rated. Where's the Suarez at? Right here. Uh, plus, I think it's plus four pace. Plus four pace like plus four shooting it's like plus four basically everywhere around the card from an item that was released just you know again like i said in march early march this is a w i know this one has five star skills i would imagine that they would at least give this suarez a four star skills and a four star weak foot um i i don't think they would take him all the way back to three star skills which is his base gold card so i think that they might not give him the five star skills on this tots card which might make the foot birthday still unique and still kind of maintain a, a pretty good price and potentially see some panic selling and a bounce back uh, but i think this suarez has a nice upgrade again from a 93 to a 96 that's a good upgrade ea sports g g that's our first card that is leaked now moving on second one we had so much hope for this guy, Fred, man. Everybody was excited to see Fred in Community Tots. He is voted in, but the stats look very underwhelming. 86 pace, 90 dribble, 86 defense, 87 physical, and 86 passing. You're like, Nate, that doesn't look that bad. No, it doesn't look that bad. I think we just had our hopes set too high. But if you take a look at cards that are already on this game, uh, look at Foot Birthday Allen. If I can find this card, he's got to be on the front page. Foot Birthday Allen has basically the exact same stats that this Fred has. And this Allen has been out since, again, the beginning of March. 90 defense, 87 physical. He also has the five-star weak foot. So what this really tells me is team of the season this year is going to be similar to what it was last year. Last year for Community Tots, we had some really insane upgrades. Like this Valverde was a really, really dope card. Um, Wambasaka was a really insane boost. Alaba was a dope boost. But then we also had some cards that were pretty underwhelming and, and they weren't that great you know some of the lower tier cards that were in community tots and even as we looked through some of the other main leagues in team of the season last year it was like ea did some cards with the business and then other cards they didn't do the business to right ruben diaz 83 pace last year right we were like man we needed some more pace on that card gundawan looked okay sushak looked very meh last year right so it's going to be, it seems like a mixture of those two things this year as well. You're going to have some cards that are juiced really good like Suarez and other ones that are not very good like this Fred. Again, all this means is this Fred item is going to be cheaper than what he could have been. And it's, you know, a bit underwhelming because people are now looking at this and like, man, is this going to set the tone for a lot of cards during TOTS? And that could impact the market. We'll talk about that a little bit too. So moving on, and this is where we have our first knowledge of the leak that EA Sports is changing it up. We're not going to have EFL Team of the Season released this Friday with um, with the Community Tots. We're going to have Eredivisie. Tots Eredivisie is coming this weekend. GG's to EA Sports because Eredivisie is one of those secondary league Tots that we get that is probably, in my opinion, either a top one or top two secondary league Tots that they release. Eredivisie always drops some gems of cards, and it is going to be released, first of all, uh, this first week of team of the season with community GG's to EA sports. That's going to get some people to open packs because they're going to see a card like this Anthony, even though 
This one looks a little bit underwhelming to me as well. 98 pace, 97 dribble, 85 shooting, 87 passing, 78 physical. If we take a look at the Anthony team, the group stage card that so many people loved as a Brazil right wing. Yes, he's five-star skills. Hopefully, they give this card, the team of the season, a four-star week for boost. But he's like plus four, plus five in every stat from his previous special item that he had. I think we were just hoping for a little bit more. Again, just like Fred, 99 pace, 99 dribble, higher 80 shooting, 90 passing, maybe in the 80s physical would have been great for an Anthony card. Maybe give him another plus two, plus three in all of the stat categories, and that would have been a lot more exciting. Still not a bad card though, but I think that's going to make his price a bit cheaper because of the way those stats look. Now moving down the line, another Tots community card is here, Adiyemi. Now this makes me think, is Adiyemi really making the starting 11, or is this actually a card that's going to be on the bench of the Community Tots team? I don't rightfully know because we have had a Suarez leak. You would imagine that Lacazette is going to get in. Oh, what about Zaha, who is in the vote as well? Of course, Adiyemi has a lot of hype just in FIFA terms as a card on the game. And this is a pretty nice card for Adiyemi, right? Good pace, good shooting. Passing is not quite there. Dribbling is solid. He doesn't have the best links. This will be a pretty cheap Tots card that will be fun to try. Hopefully, they give him uh, a skill move. I think it's a skill move that he needs uh, upgrade on his card. I believe he's three stars. No, weak foot. He's got a three star weak foot. We need that four star at least EA Sports. That'd be very, very nice for an Adiyemi card. So hopefully we do see that for his item right there. Now moving on, next one, and this is the final card that we have leaked right now, Parejo. And this one's actually pretty interesting because if you take a look at this, this Parejo card has 87 pace, 91 shooting, 96 passing, 92 dribble, 81 defense and 70 physical. You're like, Nate, wait a second. Didn't we already have an 87 pace Prejo early in the year? We did. It was the fastest Prejo ever. And now there's a tie for the fastest Prejo ever. It's going to be a TOTS community objective for the 92 rated version of this card. Is it hype? It's okay. I will say one thing early on during team the season, it's nice to do these sorts of objectives for A, fodder and for B, um, you know, Fodder, again, actually, is the only two reasons you would want to do this card. Maybe to stock up on a uh, La Liga untradeable squad or something. But Todd's cards are always required for SBCs. And early on, it's kind of difficult to get them unless you're opening a lot of upgrade packs. Probably won't be that difficult this year because, again, we have so many packs to stack right now in this year's game. If you're opening any this weekend, you're going to, going to probably pack a Tots or two. But this might be a good objective to grind for a high-tier, high-rated team of the season item for some fodder. That will be nice and maybe one for the untradeable La Liga squad, like I mentioned. But those are all the leaked players that we have right now. I wanted to go through those fast with you guys because there is going to be more. There's going to be more of those today. I almost 100% guarantee you on Wednesday, as this information continues to roll out, I would almost imagine that we're going to have the full leaked team of the season community um, released before Friday. I would be surprised if we didn't. I think you're going to start to see more air divisi leaks as well. So stay tuned to Twitter today um, to watch out for some of those leaks. Now, what can we learn from those leaks? Like what's going on? Is the market reacting at all? Now, the biggest place you're going to see the market react is going to be the cards that get leaked that already have previous specials, right? This Suarez, of course, is in a very interesting uh, position because his foot birthday card has the five-star skill moves. Um, and this Tots card might not. So right now he's 380K. He's just kind of around the same price. He was 360 about 25 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago. He rebounded back up just slightly. But, uh, you know, guys like Zaha, guys like Lacazette, Lacazette specifically, because he has that captain's card. If he is leaked today, depending on how good his stats are, or if it's said that he has a skill move or like a weak foot upgrade, that could make this captain's card move. Same thing with Yoris, right? Yuris is another card that was in the voting that we expect to see in community team of the season. Yuris is like 148,000 coins. Depending on what the boost looks like, again, we've seen good boosts on Suarez, bad boosts on Fred. If it looks like a really good boost, you're probably going to see a recent promo card for any of those players that are uh, have previous specials drop. So like this Yuris, the Lacazette might drop if their card boosts look really good. If they don't, then they might not really have that much of a movement um, on the market. That's one thing we could watch today. Also with like Fred being not as cracked, I think as I compare to this foot birthday, Allen, I think this Allen card, who's already actually rising up, I think people are, this guy's up like 20K. He was 320, 330. 
um, people are realizing that, man, this Allen card, if I'm going to use a Brazil CDM, uh, Fred is not going to be a huge upgrade. So I'm just going to go buy this Allen and that's going to be um, the card that I use for my team. And again, like I said, with some of those boosts on the leaks that we've seen, like not being that great, especially if that continues with the leaks today into tomorrow, as we head towards Friday, that gives me even more confidence that this market will rebound very, very well this weekend. Of course, we've been watching prices over the last couple of days and a lot of cars just continue to slowly trickle up in price. Some of them are still kind of low-ish. Depends on the card. Obviously, for a lot of items, it's just specific to that card, how much panic selling there is, you know, what other specials are out in the game that can cause some panic on those items. But that's going to be something to really, really keep an eye on on the market is the rise this weekend. Because I think if the most cards that are released, not everything, but if most cards that are released are underwhelming, people are going to want to go out and buy other cards that are already on the game that they know are good. So, are good. so watch the market, right? As we have these leaks coming out, continue to keep an eye on special cards, captains, foot birthdays, the um, fantasy foot cards, everything right all the cards that we've seen as low and they've been panic sold and they've been really dropped in price because everybody is scared of team of the season if this first week of tots does not look that good people are still going to open a lot of saved up packs a lot of casuals are going to open saved up packs go out build teams and that will you'll see a market rise there because of that because more coins are going to be injected onto the market and people are going to go out and try cards and again with the cards that are being released tots wise not looking that great that gives me more confidence for a bigger rise on this market on this game fakir is back to 255 i'm gonna have to check in on fakir for birthday really fast in this video because that unless that was just an undercut that's kind of low right he was like 270 yesterday 255 just sitting there oh somebody else beat me to it man are you serious oh my goodness look how many cards do you have at 270 nothing frick missed opportunity there but flipping caught us maybe somebody will undercut that's the kind of stuff that I'd be doing. Watch for cards that are still low. Actually, believe it or not, I bought a Pedri tonight at 1.02. I can't believe I'm even saying that. That's such a low price for Pedri. Is this guy actually being panic sold because of the Parejo? If he is, that is just plain silly. Five-star skill moves Pedri, the best card that he's ever had. His first special card ever before he had a Man of the Match card later on. It's silly that this card... Uh, was down so much. So I picked one of those up because I thought that was just ridiculously cheap. I have confidence that he's going to rise back over this weekend and in the next couple of days. So just continue to watch the market. Prices are still fluctuating. And I think that that gives me more confidence with seeing that those leaks and some of those stats are underwhelming that the market could rebound back very, very well this weekend. Now let's talk a little bit about today on Wednesday. What else could we expect? Well, like I said, more leaks, right? I don't expect the content in the game to be that crazy. Maybe we get one last gamble pack. I guess there's a slight potential for like a player pick, campaign bag, something like that that they could drop today um, as not a part of the um, TOTS warm-up series promo, I guess. Uh, maybe. I know there's another Champions League game today. We had the UEFA marquee matchups yesterday. That did bring a little bit of supply to the market and fodder is down just a little bit, not that much. Um, also, if you're doing these SBCs, I know it's like, man, I have to pay 20,000 coins to get in forums. I would I would really challenge you guys to get these done. These La Liga challenge, like the simple ones, I know it's kind of a pain. It's only 30 chemistry and it's rare gold, but these are actually worth it because these are tradable packs. I don't know if you guys knew this or not. It's the same upgrade pack that will be released most likely during that specific league's team of the season, but these are tradable. So you're turning in 11 players and you get 12 back, pretty much a W. So it's a pretty good gamble. It's really, really cheap. So make sure you get these done and, and stack those up for the specific league of tots if you want to. Those could end up paying out really well if you save them for the specific league. Again, I think we're still, we've got the Premier League, we have the Bundesliga, we've had La Liga, we had Serie A. So the um, League One 75 plus times 15 would be the next league pack that we would see. Um, and then also the 83 plus times five expires today. So I'm wondering if we get the 85 times five because we have not seen that one yet. We've only seen the 83 times five. Maybe you'll see the 85 times five today on Wednesday. Other than that though, I really don't expect that much crazy content on this game. I don't really think we're going to have anything 
market breaking today but if there is an 85 times 5 that could potentially bring some slight dips on the market to some cards and give you an opportunity to find some lower prices there if you're still looking to buy. Now, let's talk about fodder for a second as well. Uh, I know a lot of you guys still are maybe holding some fodder in forms. Here's my advice. If you have in forms, cash them out today, tomorrow, cash those out, take your money. If you have 84s, 85s, 86s, uh, the fodder that is up or 83s, I think today, tomorrow would be another great time to get those out before they're going to get supplied into oblivion this weekend. Fodder is going to get slammed this weekend. I really think it is. Even the higher rated that are so low, I think they're I think they're still going to go a little bit lower. Maybe not crazy lower, um, but you know, 89s at 29k is really cheap. 88s at 23k. I know some of these cards look incredibly tempting to buy before the tots pack spam but with all the saved up packs the tots cards that are going to be out people are going to see a fred they're going to see a suarez maybe a lacazette a uris laporte whoever gets in and the air divisie and that's going to get some saved up packs open that's going to drop this fodder so i think the high rated stuff is still going to go lower i'm still holding on to a last ditch effort some sort of last hope that some of these like uh, jose fonte and handanovic might just kick up like two or three k i've been slowly selling those for lazies like two to three k over their price um to hopefully you know lose a little bit less coins or just lose tax which is what i'm honestly losing on like jose fontes that i bought at like 47 selling them there so i understand the pain when you see a Harry Kane card at 33K, that's just, it's just wild. Conte is 38,000 coins. I just noticed. Wow. That's incredible. And that's crazy. So that's kind of the fodder market at the moment, but it did drop a little bit yesterday. If we take a look at the index 86 or 84, even, I bet you can see that with that UEFA marquee matchup supply that we had, fodder did drop down a decent amount and it could, it could rebound back a little bit today. Just depends on the content. Like I said, so that's, you know, today on, on Wednesday as well, what else would we be expecting to see on the game? I would be expecting to see a brand new team of the week, and I don't really have any leaks for that at the moment, which is fine. Team of the week's probably not going to be that exciting. I would imagine that they would fill a team of the week this week with a lot of fodder cards. I know we had Ronaldo last week. We've actually had a big name player in the last three team of the weeks with Ronaldo, Mbappe, and Neymar. You know, they might keep it a very fodder heavy team of the week this week because I know there's going to be a lot of packs open and people are going to need informs for SBCs and this is going to drop informs a lot once we get to the weekend uh, with that sort of stuff. So speaking of the weekend, it, there's still a couple days before we get there, but I, I just want to raise some of the questions before we actually get there. We are still waiting on a lot of team of the season information, specifically around rewards. I know that we have... The brand new season that is going to be coming tomorrow and i just hit my reward upgrade for the elite division so i am going to get that of course team of the week to, to current 27 to current uh one of five foot champions player pick i'm not going to grind the 16 games to get my milestone three progress it's not worth it for me i probably should have just played more games earlier on for those extra packs it's not going to be worth it for me i don't have the time to even rubber band it it's not something i want to do but um foot champions rewards this is huge we don't know what's going to be happening if you go to finals right here you remember you used to be able to see the schedule in previous fifas you'd be able to see the schedule and right now it still says premium team of the week pack for the upcoming foot champions finals rewards now this is probably going to reset and everything um tomorrow with the brand new season starting so that's a big question that we have how is ea going to do the rewards on this game we don't know are they going to include tots cards in the team of the week pack since they've made team of the week packs so readily available this year i hope they do that would make tots incredibly cheap and it would be huge for the market of course but um what are they going to do i really don't know if they want to make tots cards that packable and supplied for everybody are they going to put tots cards in reds with the different schedule this year how are they going to do that all those questions we hope to have answered very 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 soon we're going to need some very detailed explanations ea sports we're going to need some pitch notes and everything to explain everything that goes on with how you're going to change champs rewards that is information we're really looking forward to soon there's also been some rumors about a token system for team of the season now i don't know how heavy and legit those rumors are but if there is going to be a token system for tots that would be a crazy w and i would not um, have a problem with that at all so just kind of keep an eye out for that and then of course schedule mini releases are they going to do mini releases with team of the season you would imagine that they would 
because they've been doing mini releases all year long with like every single promo on Sundays. So I would not be surprised if they were going to somehow fit mini releases into team of the season. Are they going to have a schedule where they drop, you know, like, uh, community tots on Friday and then air to tots is our mini release that drops on Sunday. They've done that in years past where they stagger the leagues each week. We don't know. We're still in need of a lot of information for team of the season. And we are on the doorstep of this promo starting. But again, it all starts with the leaks, right? As everything does this year. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments of those leaks for the team of the season cards that we have seen so far with Suarez, with Fred with Anthony. There's going to be a lot more today, so stay tuned to Twitter, of course. Um, oh, one last thing that I will show you guys is remember how we had end of an era leaks? We had that end of an era Akin Fenua. This was actually on Akin Fenua's Instagram story yesterday. He posted a picture of his first ever foot card and his last ever foot card, but it's faced the other way. So, like, there's a legit card right there on the other side of that that, like, EA sent him or something. Uh, and he slipped it backwards because he can't show it yet, but he's kind of doing a little teaser. So that end of an era Akin Fenua actually seems like it might be legit. Don't know when it's going to be dropped, though, on the game. So just kind of keep an eye out for that. That seems to be a lot more legit than just a normal Twitter account leaking stuff like we've seen so many times this year. Also, last uh, last thing too, Bundesliga Tots vote starts today. So be... Uh, uh, make sure you go to the EA Sports website and same thing for Prem and Community Tots. Go ahead and vote on your basically mix between uh, Dortmund and team this season Bundesliga is going to be Dortmund, Bayern Munich, and, and Kunku. And maybe a couple other defenders thrown in there. That's how I think it's going to end up being. But that's just my take. I'll stop talking. That's a long enough video for today. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate's account. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.